Hey girl, hey, I'm Coach Cass, America's go-to love doctor, and I wanna talk to you about three tips to get over your ex. You know that ex and you're just like, why can't it just be next? I know. So how do you get over your ex? Somehow he keeps popping up in your feed, he keeps popping up in your mind, maybe he keeps popping up at your house. Now that's a whole nother story. So if you have a pen and paper, I need you to start writing down some things. So tip number one. Tip number one, I always tell my clients, listen to me, you have to cut ties. Oftentimes I hear when people break up, well, let's just be friends. Okay, no problem. And you're friends with someone that you really don't want to spend time with. And you know for a fact of a fact, if you saw that person out with someone else, that you feel some type of way, right? Like hey, he's already dating someone new. What if he showed up to your barbecue with a new boo? That would be a problem. So number one is cut ties. And I understand that sometimes you're with someone for an elongated piece of time, so they are someone that you like as a person, but not when it comes to love. You have to give that relationship time to breathe so that you're able to get over it so you could really separate relationship from a friendship, okay? So give it some time. Yes, time. Now time depends on you, but I at least say six months. For me, I have blocked every ex in my social media. Why do I do that? Why, do you, why should you do that? Really because you really don't need to have a constant reminder of their daily life in your constant feed. If you're trying to get over someone, and that's what this video is about, you're getting over your ex, literally seeing what they're eating for breakfast, who they're going out with, and why aren't you there, aren't the greatest thoughts to help you get over them. Is that right? Yes or yes? Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, that's a yes. All right, number two, get rid of all the triggers. What does that mean, Coach Cass? The bracelet he bought you, right? Maybe there was a special pillow that you guys used to snuggle on right? The little things, the sheets, that's a whole nother story. Anyway, so the things that literally remind you of him as you walk through your home, these are the things that you should get rid of because then otherwise you're reminiscing every day. And in order to get rid of your ex and in order to make room for someone new who will be the right person for you, you have to get rid of all these reminders that are constantly around. The easiest way to to think of this is if you had a new man in your life that came into your home and he said, hey, where'd you get that pillow? It's so nice. Would you feel strange in sharing with him where you got it and some of your experiences with that pillow? Mm, hello? Right, exactly. So number two is get rid of the triggers. You ready for number three? Number three. Number three is all about staying true to you. Don't go on the rebound. Oftentimes what happens is you end up in a rebound type of relationship just because, you know, they say the best way to get over a man is to get under another one. Honey, that is not the best way. That ends up hurting your heart and your mind and your time. And ain't nobody got time for that, right? You don't have time to just be wasting in situationships. So my advice to you is take a little time to heal. Take a little time for you. Okay, a little time for you. And if you really want to know what to do when it comes to being successful in dating, you need to pick up my Successful Single Woman's Dating Toolkit. Make sure to click the link below in order to get the toolkit because you need it. Hello? So when you're ready to date again, you're really ready to meet the right one. All right, family. Go on to the next video. Hit subscribe. Love ya. Bye.